Hello and welcome back to the channel. In the last episode of the Iron Man Progress videos, I laid out the roadmap for the progress that I want to make ending with the Sins of the Father quest completed. A new runecrafting minigame came out in the meantime, which alleviates a lot of the stress of runecrafting, but I still want to be able to get it done for camping fire watches, the fact that I need it anyway, and also the Howlet Sepulchre. I managed to get at least 70 agility, we ended with 73 agility, got full graceful, and an additional 50 marks of grace. I got enough crafting experience banks, so once I process all the molten glass, we'll be able to boost to be able to get 80 crafting to make the glory that we need. I opened a hard clue and got a black dragon hide chap, which was amazing. I also got a couple extra quests done, getting us even closer to the Barrow's Gloves. Actually, right now, the only quest that's standing in the way of getting the Barrow's Gloves is is actually the Legends quest. And to start this video, I think I'm going to work on getting this quest done and, and finishing up the recipe for Disaster Quest. All we need is this, which is Legends Quest, and this, which is... Yeah, we just need to do it. Having the extra agility levels is really going to help for this as well. Yeah, let's get everything we need and do this quest. Oh, but before we start that, I do need to do some editing, so off to woodcutting. First level of the video coming in, 79 woodcutting. Oh, that also puts us at 1700 total level. There is one thing I've realized on this quest, and that is that uh, all of this like weird interface stalling is really, really awful, and there is so much of it in this quest. It's, I mean, rough. <laughs> it's an old quest, I know, but it's it's rough. Legends quest is complete. Let's put everything into Herblore. 59. Almost 60 Herblore from that. So there's Legends quest complete. Now let's go do the last two subquests for a recipe for disaster and take that on. Ceramic Vars subquest complete. The final subquest of recipe for disaster is now completed. Well, it will be after the dialogue. Uh, this unlocks the Apatol teleport, and that's 10,000 agility experience. That's nice. And now we can take on the Kalinomancer. First boss down. Second boss down. Third boss down. Fourth boss down. Didn't even take any damage from the Gelatinous Mother. That was nice. I didn't eat until I got to the Kilinomancer, and there we go. We can now buy our Barrow's Gloves, and I can use this lamp on Herblore. I think this gets us 60. Oh, juicy level. I mean, not really. This doesn't actually do anything for me, but 60 Herblore is nice. Let's buy the gloves. That's actually the hardest task that I was going to do for the Hard Lumby Diary, so maybe the next thing I'll do is actually complete that one, get some more Herblore experience, and also get that nice ring that I can use for farming runs. What else is there to do? Like, everything here I know I can do. And it's really just 59 rune crafting. Mm. It's easy enough to get from the new minigame. I think there's two quests that give rune crafting experience I can do. Maybe I'll do those first. Yeah, that's what I'll do next. Devious Mines completed. And that's 51 rune crafting. Had to go back to work, so I started working crafting. There's 71, 72, 73, 74 hunter. Back to crafting, there's 74, 75, and that's it for the crafting gains today. Both of these rune crafting experience quests are actually really short, so there's what lies below completed. And now that's 52 rune crafting, and we'll go back to the rune crafting mini game to get 58. There's 53 rune crafting. 54, 55, 56. One last Tears of Guthix going into rune crafting for 57. Another day, another mobile grind. This one back with crafting, and there's 76. 77. And the last of the molten glass makes 78. 58 rune crafting. Voice over Colby here. I don't know what I was thinking stopping at 58, because you need 59 for the diary, but. I'm going to be searching the rewards here because I stopped thinking I needed 58. An intricate pouch. Interesting. I haven't looked into the rewards for this. Hey, more pearls. Ooh, I really like the amount of law runes you get from all this. Ooh, oh, it's the wrong needle. <laughs> oh, what is this? 
Um, I don't actually know what this is. I imagine it's just a collectible. Wow, Elemental Talisman out of my last pull. Not the right one. It's the same drop rate as the one that I actually want. And this one you can get from leeches, so that sucks. Oh, I forgot to open these pouches. Oh, whoa. <laughs> hey, I got a dragon spear. That's actually, uh, well, it's cool. <laughs> I don't know how useful it'll be. I know the special attack is pretty nice. Can you use it to uh, move knights into the thieving spot. Yeah, nice. Oh, I also got some caskets while woodcutting. Let's see if we get anything out of these. Oh, new collection log. Another collection log. And nothing. I was just wanting to get five of these. Uh, and we got 80 woodcutting. So, yay. Oh, this takes 59 runecrafting. I don't know why I thought it took 58. Well, before I go back and get that, I'm going to open up the crystal chests. And I have, let's see, nine right here. I have nine keys to be able to use, and we have the ability to boost now to 80 crafting, so let's go make some glories. Oh, hey, 100 coal, that's useful. Ooh, those are the first rune bars on the account. My plan is to make six glories and five necklaces, skill necklaces. Um, need five for the jewelry box, and getting to the farming guild would be a hell of a lot easier if I had a quick teleport. So we'll eat the pie. Use the gold. Oh, I don't have a gold on me. Okay, well, we have enough to make the Dragonstone Amulets first. Which is the only thing I need a boost for. I don't need a boost for the necklace. And now this is the time to enchant. Uh, glory. That's so nice. I'm actually going to take it to the Fountain of Rune. And then take something out there to Low Elk. Because I haven't done that part of the diary yet. And who knows? Oh, oh my god, can you imagine if I get so lucky as to get an Eternal Glory? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. One in 25,000 chance to get an Eternal Glory? Nah, I don't think so. And then I can take these to Legends Guild to get enchanted. Out of the Fountain of Rune, we're going to low Alk this Rune Javelin. Easy task. And then use the Glory. And nope, didn't get anything. But we do have them charged, and then we'll do this one more time. Also, do I lose any of these? Nah, just the coins. Okay, so now we have a lot of Edgeville Teleports. Uh, I realize now that I think I actually have to have an uncharged one to add it to my house, but I really need to add this to my POH because being able to go to Drainer is going to be way, way easier doing this. Let's go let Callisto slap my cheeks. Hey, thanks for the free trip back to Lumbridge. Checking this Aspori should get me to 79 farming. I still need Archaea's favor for the Architectural Alliance and the Kingdom Divided quest. So I'm going to get the last bit of favor I need to get 100%, and that should get us at, that probably actually won't get us a level, but then we'll finish it off at Guardians of the Rift. I just reached Maximum Archaeus Favor, and <laughs> these are the last of the books here. Let's see what we get for experience. Wow. Barely any, like 6k. There we go. Now we're 59 rune crafting. That's the two cosmic runes that we need for the Lumby Hard Diary. So let's go wrap up the Lumby Hard Diary. I have five chances here to pull a Catalytic Talisman that'll let me do the Morning's End Part 2 quest a lot easier without having to worry about the 50 random items. Okay, what do we get from the intricate pouches? One, two, hey, that's not bad. I needed an Earth Talisman to be able to make lava runes for one of the diary tasks, so I went into Pure Pro because there's another task to catch an impling in Pure Pro. I got a Ninja impling, Medium Clue, some extra Eclectics, and let's see what I get from the Ninja. All right. And uh, maybe I can get another medium from these eclectics. I forgot to mount my glory. And so I just uncharged it. I need to build a quest hall. Okay, it's a quest hall. It's a quest hall. Let's build it here. Uh, let's see. Which one's the glory? Here we go. And that way we can come into our house really quickly and use the glory. Get to Edgeville. Actually, Karamja is another one that I was surprised to think, I'm like, I have no easy way of getting to Kromja, but now I do. I uh, moved the portal rooms around a little bit. That way I can get to Karend, Lunar Isle for changing of spell books. And then these three are gonna be used when I do Mahogany Homes. I'll need to make a ton of teleport tablets to be able to get to my home. It's just the easiest, sort of. 
I can AFK it or at some point. I have a lot of gold nuggets that I have no other use for other than maybe gem bags, but I want to do gem mining. I might as well buy soft clay packs. And then this one is going to be directed to the salve graveyard. And this is just a quick fairy ring access, which I forgot my drama staff. Can't wait to get rid of that. I did actually manage to get another reward casket from the uh, five eclectic gimblings I had banked. So what do we get? Okay. All right. All of the easy tasks completed. All of the medium tasks completed. And all of the hard tasks completed. About the only thing useful out of the Lumby rewards here from easy to hard is the ring itself, which is going to offer unlimited teleports to the cabbage patch, which is close to the Falador farming patch. And then once I redeem all of these Herblore lamps, we'll be getting an Herblore level, and that's 61 Herblore. There we go. I got my first bracelet of Ethereum. I, I know this is a bit off the wall since my last recording, but I was going back to Wilderness Slayer, and I got a clue scroll that required me to get a Rune Warhammer. And I was like looking up the rates, and Revenants was like the best, kind of the best way to get it. At least for where I'm at in the game, I can't really do shamans. So I came here and I've never been in the Revenant Caves before. I didn't even go in the Revenant Caves at all during Leagues. So this is literally my first time in Revenant Caves. And yeah, I am now trying it out. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I hope I don't die. I don't really, I'm not really risking anything except for the loot that I'm picking up. And of course the 100k entry. But yeah, let's hope for some big drops. Or Rune Warhammer. I'll be, I'll leave with the Rune Warhammer. Uh, well, that didn't last very long. <laughs> I was too slow on my teleport. Missed it by just a second. That sucks. Oh, we got our bracelet back. <laughs> Dude, it's so, it's so rough here. There's so many people. I've already run into like four other PKers since coming back and trying again. <laughs> I managed to escape from one and tellied away from the others. Bro, holy shit, I'm so retarded. <laughs> I have my glory on. I forgot that salve amulet works here. Okay, let's get let's get out of here. Come back like not a dummy. Hey, look at that! My first real drop. Uh, let's take this and GTFO. There we go. Dragon plate skirt. This is actually my. Uh, it's actually an upgrade. Ah, <laughs> uh, nice. That is really nice. I'm actually gonna put the the rune gloves away. It's really beneficial to have the bracelet of Ethereum on while I go there. Oh, and we got two rune plate bodies like just before that too. That's nice. I think I'm going to get a strength level. I, I just wanted rune warhammers for this clue, man. <laughs> uh, I'll take a dragon plate though. That's nice. What a good place to get 82 strength and 1725 total level. Ooh, look at this friggin drop. Five dragon stone? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Okay, I'm going to go bank these. Oh my goodness, double dragon plate legs drops. Okay, I'm out. Again, another dragon item. Not going to complain, but I do just want a Warhammer. Well, there's 77 hit points. Finally, I got my Warhammers, and I got two. Okay, I'm dipping. I've been in here a long time, actually. Uh, where's our loot? Well, let me get to safety before. <laughs> 272 kills. Let's see. Okay, here's the loot on screen. That is kills from 272. It's a 170 to get a Rune Warhammer drop, which I guess I'm under right now because I got two, but uh, made pretty good money. It says 2.6 mil. Wow. Uh, okay, I mean, I didn't make that much. I did get PK'd twice uh, while I was there, once with Pyre Fiends, like almost immediately right after saying oh i hope i don't get pk'd and then one other time somebody logged in underneath me and tb'd me and i couldn't get away so i didn't lose much then so we have everything here we've got most of the money i guess and now i can go kill some blue dragons get the blue chaps that i need and go finish this clue well time to do another quest there's 71 fletching and there it is the end of my arms big adventure we got the music track and now we can get back to slaying. Bro, you got to be fucking kidding me with this. I am five steps into the hard clue scroll, and I need a stole. I have the rune shield from one of the hard clues I've already done, but I need a stole. Which I think is only from medium clues? No, they only come from hard clues. 
Jeez, come on, man. Uh, okay, so there is technically a chance I can get this, but I'm probably going to have to drop this stupid hard clue five steps in. Uh, okay, all right, we have two hard caskets, a medium and an easy. I'm just going to open all of these and just hope I get a stole. Let's start with the easy. All right, medium, cool. Collection log, and then the hard... Alks, I don't want, I mean, I'm fine with Alks, but I would rather, I would rather get a stole. Well, I guess I get to drop this clue. That's, that's so annoying. We got a Laren's key, let's see what we get. Hey, steel bars, that'll be good for Mahogany Homes. No fucking way, dude. <gasps> Whoa, what are the ch- well, I know what the chances are, they're 1 in 5,000. Dude, we've killed- how many- we oh my- oh, hold on. We have been out here for 27 lesser demons, and I've got- I just got a, a lesser demon champion scroll. I got the earth warrior one in like 20 as well. Both- both from the wilderness. Oh my god, oh, I need to kill this one, I need to get out- I'm gonna hover over this Edgeville. I do not need to get PK'd right now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm almost almost 58 Slayer, but oh, wow. Here we go. Earth Warrior and Lesser Demon Champion Scroll. I have two Champion Scrolls. <laughs> oh my god. Passively getting in Champion's Cave. That's what I'm talking about. There it is. 58 Slayer. We can now get Black Mask, but I am obviously going to stay here to the end of the task. Two more Laren's Keys. What do we get? Okay, that's not too bad. I'm eight cave horrors in, and I get my first hard clue. <laughs> Time to go do it. Another clue, another quest. Uh, I might as well take this opportunity to go do the managing miscellanea quest line. I've been missing out on the passive stuff. There's Throne of Miscellanea. And that's Royal Trouble completed. And I'm going to put this 1.5 mil into the kingdom. I'm going to try to keep it up and check it whenever I need supplies. Hoping I don't go the 1500 plus dry that my main is. But just in case I do, I'm going to get this Soul Bearer because it makes banking the insold heads way easier. Even though it is a little costly for where I'm at now. What in the silver spooned hell is this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what KC? 50 KC Black Mask. <laughs> I had just got here. And now I'm done. What an unbelievable amount of progress. I mean... It's just kind of insane. We got all of the goals that I had set out in last episode. Got my Barrows Gloves. Got my Black Dehyde Chaps. We got the Black Mask and Amulet of Glory. What 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 amazing progress. And we'll end with a reward casket. Hopefully we don't go out with a dun-dun. <laughs> all right, too late. <laughs> you know what? Hey, actually, that's fine. A spare Black Dehyde body is nice. And some Alks. Also nice. Next episode is where I'm going to be fishing for the vampire task so we can get Taste of Hope and Sins of the Father hopefully completed. And until then, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.